Good afternoon, hello. My name is Daniel. This is the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. It is Monday evening. Just finished work, work from home today, and I was going to go out on the bike tonight, but I'm not going to. On this channel, I document big training days, building towards the brutal triathlon, all that jazz, that's brilliant. But it wouldn't be a true reflection if I didn't also show you the days where I'm struggling a little bit. So yesterday, I did a seven hour ride. I'm not just gonna bounce straight back from that. So I've been out for a run this lunchtime, and I felt awful. It was a real slog, it was hot, it was muggy. Every stride was difficult, and I know what happens in this situation through years of me overextending myself sporadically. I hit it the day after, I'll train hard today, and then I'll crumble the rest of the week. I'm much better having an easier day today, and then being able to pick it up from tomorrow onwards. And I've run at lunch, I'm gonna go for a swim later tonight, so it's not even like it's a, it's not like it's a rest day, but I'm just gonna treat myself to a day off the bike. How also, when I fell over my trail on the weekend, got an annoying little scabby knee, so that's, awkward and annoying and painful etc i've come downstairs because now i can't show you her because you guessed it she's not going to close on hello elizabeth you okay hi yes i i've came or come downstairs to see my local small business owner who runs a very successful vintage page to see if she'll package me up this and post it back this is a front brake caliper for well, not for my bike, it doesn't fit, but another bike uh, from Hope. And I'm gonna get that sent back to, I think it was Westbrook Cycles I bought it from. They've been very good. I bought another one from them that does actually fit, so I was gonna get that sent back. And I'm basically gonna have an evening for get on top of all the things that I need to do. So one is sending that back. Two is spending some time with Liz, maybe if I have to. Hey, Liz. Yeah. Yeah. Three is washing Liz's gravel bike for her. Yeah. Sorted my bike out because the front met came off on the, yesterday's ride and I fixed it on the roadside. It's just rubbing a little bit, so I need to sort it. I'm also going to spend a bit of time trying to carry on building my Canyon Ultimate because that is the one that I'm going to well, want to ride at the Brutal. So I need to be training on it like this week. I need to be riding it. But the build's caused me some stress because of disc brakes. And what else am I going to do? It's half past five. Get on top of all the admin I've got to do. I need to order like things like a whistle and I don't know, an emergency blanket and all these little things that I don't have or did have and can't find them for the brutal. Got a few emails to reply to, like just a few different, very different things that I'm just falling behind on. Comments on this YouTube channel. I love reading the comments, but to like I, if a few days passes and I haven't replied to any, it's then a bit more of a job, so I need to get on and do that. But that's the bit I really enjoy, so that is not a moan. I'm gonna do that tonight. And what else, Liz, have got anything else to do? Listen. Oh. <laughs> That's about it, so let's get stuck in. All right, so I'm slowly trying to piece that bike together, and when I stripped it down, you know, I took everything off it, literally everything. So all these, like, little plasticky bits and all these random nuts and bolts and stuff, I ran them all through my new little ultrasonic cleaner. So these are all brilliantly clean, but I can't remember where anything goes. <laughs> I have to just like nose around the bike and try and figure out, I know where that goes in the bottom bracket, but like all of these, I'm not so sure. I'm gonna try and find some hoses and things and see if I can, I don't know, put these in like these little tiny little plug things. Hmm, who knows. Right, a couple of days has passed since I've made that video and this bike is, well it's in less, it's in more pieces now and it's less ready to ride than it was at that point. I've given up, I've absolutely given up with it. I love building bikes, I think, a bit of a like mixed opinion. I love it when it's done and I love some of the process but when I get frustrated with it, it's just more of a chore than it is enjoyable. It is just the brakes. Everything else on the bike is sorted, ready to roll, ready to go. It's just setting up these hydraulic brakes. Now, I don't think I'm like mechanically inept. Like I used to work on cars as a hobby. You know, a bled car brakes up, not a problem. They're actually loads easier than bike brakes. But for some reason, I can just never get the shifter feel to be good, the contact to be good, the pads to attract well enough. And I've done this a few times, the front one. I've still ended up with a slightly catching disc and then I've tweaked it a bit more and now the 
there's loads of travel in the car. I'm going to pull it because there's no wheel in it. But there's slightly, um, you know, loads of travel in the shifter. Like it's just, I can't quite get it right. But um, a good friend of mine is digging me out of the poo, and it is going to finish it for me. And that does tie in with sorting out some new wheels for it. I was going to use these. Oh, steady on these wheels, which came on my Grizzle. And these are just uh, aluminium training wheels, 32 mil road tires. They were going to be perfect for like a you know, for a training bike. But I do want to use this for. The brutal and you know if i can have some wheels that are faster they're going to save me some time over that distance then great and i'm not writing off trying to like, make some videos and do some stuff where you know one bike to rule them all well, the minute i've got a training bike and a crit bike can i race a crit on that and can i train on that in the same setup like i want to do that sort of thing so therefore having some like midsection carbon wheels would be great so it is i'm been dropping it off tomorrow and i'm picking it up the week after and then i will have three weeks with it before the brutal and hopefully it will all just work fine and it'll just be a case of me getting used to the slightly different position to my normal training bike there's still a couple of bits that i'm waiting on so i'm waiting on a little end cap that goes there and the little end cap that goes there i've actually got the rear one uh, but the front one i can't find the circular one for some reason and what else am i waiting for that might be about it i think i do need to get a saddlebag ah yeah steerer spacers steerer spacers that's from the integrated cockpit so it's a different shapes so i've got a round one coming because it is painted all the way around so i can just have a round one on um i think that's it other than that everything is here everything is on everything's ready to go i think i might get a new saddlebag for it other than that yeah, ready to roll with me. So I need to tweak like the shifter position slightly. Like that looks like they're a little bit low and so on. So I'm glad I've noticed that after doing the bar tape. Uh, so I don't know how YouTubers who build bikes actually do it because I'm stressing out like mad. Oh, it feels good. It's nearly ready to go. Anyway, so I'm going to end today's video there. The next video on this bike, it will be done hopefully and then i can do the first ride and all that jazz so thank you very much for watching if you haven't already please do hit that like and subscribe button down below if you want to be my personal bike fitter mechanic please do let me know as well because i could sure do one of those i've got to focus on my training now so offloading this to somebody else is a big big help and i'm very very grateful